Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Michaela, and I have another wax haul for you today. Um, so I do have a haul from Zape. Um, I haven't purchased from her for quite a while, but I'm excited this was her fall release. I did go ahead and print this print, print the scent notes. Sorry, I'm having issues talking already today. Um, it is a little bit cloudy and gloomy again today, so hopefully with the ring light, the light is good enough. Um, I haven't typically used a ring light, but we'll see. So if my videos look a little bit different, that's how it goes. So I did um, go ahead and I ordered for the fall launch. Um, I just ordered some of her body care and then her scoops. I much prefer the performance that I get from her scoops. Um, I know that some people commented as to the texture and it is kind of a weird texture. It's a little bit Vaseline-like. And so um, if you're one that likes to put your dishes in the freezer to use a freezer method, that's probably not gonna work very well for you. What I like to do, and I don't do it so much with this warmer. With this warmer, I just use cotton balls. But what I like to do with my hot plates is something that I actually learned from Lori Brown here on YouTube. She uses the big, huge cupcake liners and um, she just puts those on top. So it's not like the normal cupcake liners. It's like the bigger ones. I actually, I don't remember what they're called, but um, like egg, egg cup liners or I don't know. Anyway, so I use those. That way I can just pop out the wax and it's super easy. But with the Zape scoopables, I can't do that because it's a very, very sticky consistency. So I do have to either hot dump those or use cotton balls which is fine with me because I get really great throw from it. Um, and the other reason that I really prefer Zape's scoops over her solid wax is I feel like I get more for my money. So one scoop is, um, I believe, do I get invoices? No, sorry, I was gonna write all this down, but I didn't. Um, I believe one scoop is $12.95. I don't think prices are on her sign list either. It's either $12 or $12.95 now for um, her seven and a half ounce scoop. But I can do this two times in my main area because with scoops, you don't have to use, at least I don't have to use as much as I have to use with hard wax. So anyway, so that's why I prefer the scoops. So let's go ahead and get into it. I did get a sample and my sample is pumpkin patch and it's a cute little pumpkin shape and so let's see I don't know if pumpkin patch is on here so pumpkin patch to me is very spicy it's a lot more like the typical craft store yep okay so pumpkin patch the best part of fall walking through the patch to pick your perfect pumpkin Spicy cinnamon pumpkin with hints of vanilla, nutmeg, and orange peel round out this epic fall blend. So yeah, I would say it's very much like that. It reminds me a little bit of like kind of a craft store type vibe, but not as much, not as strong because the pumpkin is a little bit different and the spices aren't quite as much, but it kind of leans that way to me. So if you like those type of scents, you would probably really like pumpkin patch. And it's this cute little pumpkin. Okay, let's do, let's do my body care first. So I love her whip soaps, her sugar scrubs, and her, does she call them meringues? Yeah, meringues. So I kind of went back and forth on what I wanted to get. So I got the fallen berry, and I got the fallen berry in the whip soap in the sugar scrub and then in the meringue so fallen berry let me find it a blast of fruity raspberries pomegranate berries sweet orange citrus and a hint of marshmallow so that's what this is um i love like the colors in her scrubs and her soaps they're just so so pretty So this is her meringue. And I do like that she switched to these bottles because I do feel like you can use more of it. So it's definitely a very berry scent. 
but it's not overpowering. And I think it's probably that hint of marshmallow that makes it a little bit smoother. Because sometimes body care berry scents can just be a little too much. And this one's not. This one's really nice. Um, I'm not sure that it screams fall to me, but that's okay because I have other scents to me that do scream fall. Yeah, it's just a very kind of marshmallowy berry scent to me. I think it's really nice. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so then the other one that I got was Jack-O-Lantern. And I got this one in the Whipped Soap and the Meringue. Um, so Jack-O-Lantern is Sweet Pumpkin, Spice Vanilla, Marshmallows, and Hints of Smoky Bonfires. So a couple of years ago, I don't remember what the scent was, but I got one of her body cares in kind of a really smoky scent and I loved it. I don't think she's offered it again, or at least she didn't offer it this year. Um, this one's really, really good. This one's definitely the one that screams fall to me. So this is one that I'll save till like October. So um, I really get that sweet pumpkin and the marshmallows, but I get that smokiness. And it's not a heavy smokiness, it's a slight smokiness, so it works really, really well with the body care. Because sometimes I think heavy smokiness, at least my preference for me being a female, I don't like it as much. I mean, maybe my husband, but my husband doesn't do scents at all, so I couldn't get him to wear it. But yeah, I really like this one. And then, I don't know, can you see the colors? It's gorgeous. So one thing um, that she did that was mentioned in her group is that she switched to these new labels and because of that, the labels are running a little bit. So what she was saying is those that have not had their orders sent yet, they were holding off and they were trying to fix the labels. So um, just, I guess an FYI, the labels do run a little bit now in the shower. Um, so this one's vanilla fig. So this one I got the sugar whip and then the meringue. So I kind of switched off between the two with these other two scents because I just kind of horror to buy the sugar whip and the whip soap and everything. So this one is sweet vanilla musk, ripe figs, bergamot, and rich amber. So I was really curious about this one because this is not like a typical scent that I really see around that much. Um, so I really wanted to try it and I thought this would be great for body care. Honestly, for wax, I probably wouldn't like it that much because I think it would be too body care like, but for body care, it's great. And this one is very pretty. I'm trying to do a little bit of lotion to see if I can smell a little bit better. Sometimes it's hard to smell them in the jars. This one is really, really pretty. I, I'm going to love this as body care. Um, if I was to go back and get more of any of the body cares, it'd probably be this one. But that sweet vanilla musk with the figs and the bergamot and the amber, oh, it's pretty. I really like it. If you like really girly, feminine type scents, this is definitely one. It's not fruity at all. Um, the berries, the fallen berries is very fruity. The jack-o'-lantern is kind of fall smoky. And this one is very, like a pretty feminine scent. I really like it. I'm actually tempted to go back and get the body spray if there's any of it still, because I would wear that as like a, a body spray perfume. And then the last thing that I got was just a body meringue and poison apple. I actually still have a whipped soap from last year that I haven't used. I ordered a few different Halloween specific scents and so I just never got around to it. Um, so this year I just wanted the meringue to go with it. And poison apple is, oh, is a really good scent. So poison apple, the notes are here for you, my sweet, crisp Macintosh apple, sweet fall pumpkin, and a dash of sweet baked Halloween treats will have you needing to take a bite out of this poison apple. So you really get that Macintosh apple, but with the bakery. And so it's just this really pretty apple bakery scent. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. So I have that also. So I did go a little crazy. Um, one thing that she has that I did not buy this time because I still have it, she does have lids that you can replace these ones with and then they pop open. 
And I would highly suggest that because these lids can be like a bit of a pain when you're in the shower to open and shut and whatnot. So she sells them, I think it's in two packs. And so, and then what I do is just every time I'm done with one, I just take up the pop lid, I wash it and I put it on whatever I'm starting next. So just FYI, good investment. So I did buy a few scoops. Um, I still do have some scoops left over. And for me personally, I am finding that her scoops not the longer that they said, but the longer that they said, they last better. And so um, my ones that I used last year from the previous year were like crazy, crazy strong. But I find when I use her scoops right away, like even within the first month or two, they're not nearly as strong. I don't know if it's my home. Like I said, I have really tall ceilings. And so maybe that's part of it. But I do find that her scoops age very, very well and they last a long time and they do get stronger as they age. So the first one that I have is um, Crypt Keeper. So welcome to the Crypt, notes of haunted woods and false spices, but beware the keeper. You'll know he's coming when you hear the crackle. So I was curious about this one because I do like wood and earthy type scents. And I was hoping that that's kind of what I was gonna get from this. And I don't, you know, I, I think, and again, this is according to Michaela, I think that scoops are really, really, really hard to smell on cold. Um, I don't feel like you get the true scent on scoops at all until they're warming. And they're just, with harder wax, you can smell it a little better on cold, but not with scoops. That's my opinion. So when I smell this, I really kind of just get... I'm really smelling kind of the false spices. I don't get a lot of the woods in the crackle. I mean, maybe there's a tiny, tiny hint of a little bit of smokiness, but it's not like I'm picking up a lot of wood right now. But again, I do think the longer this sits, the stronger that will get. But yeah, I'm really just kind of getting that, that false spices scent, but it's not with a bakery note at all. Um, I think it does have a little, little bit of that smokiness. But again, these, these to me personally are really hard to get the true, true scent on cold. I wish that she put her scent notes on them. Some of them, they do have scent notes right here, but out of all the ones that I got, only one did. And I'm not sure why it kind of goes back and forth. Um, I would rather have the scent notes than directions, but that's just my opinion. Okay, the next one that I got is Trick or Treat. So this one is... Okay, Trick or Treat, give me something good to eat. Sweet vanilla cones with cream and caramel chocolate fudge and toasted marshmallows. So I like chocolate and wax, but sparingly. So I don't really melt chocolate and wax that much, but I was intrigued by this one. I love waffle cone scents. And this one, you really do get kind of that chocolate caramely type scent. I don't necessarily pick up waffle cone on cold, but that's another scent to me that kind of comes more alive on warm. But yeah, if you like chocolate caramely scents, this, it smells really good on cold. And this one's a little bit stronger on cold. Um, and it did have one of the labels, so I don't know if maybe that's why, if maybe it kind of kept the scent trapped in a little bit better. Okay, next we have Cabin in the Woods. So this one is um, sweet or spooky, a tempting treat awaits in this creepy cabin crisp apple warm cider and creamy caramel drizz. Drizzle, sorry, I don't know why I say drizz. Um, so yeah, you really kind of get almost that iconic cider lane type scent from this, but it has 
What is it in it? It doesn't smell exactly like Cider Lane, but it smells very similar. It's very much that type of a scent. But I would almost say I like this better. I almost wonder if there's a tiny bit more um, caramel than, I don't know, it's really good. I'm excited for this one. I'm looking forward to melting this one also. So if you like those type of scents, this one's really nice. Um, pumpkin sugar cookie. So pumpkin sugar cookie is the best part of fall, walking through the patch to pick your perfect pumpkin. Spicy cinnamon pumpkin with hints of vanilla, nutmeg, and orange peel round out this epic fall blend. So when I smell this, I don't smell like spicy. I don't smell a lot of spices, at least compared to um, some of the other scents we've gone through. This to me really smells like a pumpkin sugar cookie with maybe some cinnamon sugar on it. Not, on cold it doesn't lean that red hot cinnamon. Um, on cold it's more just like that kind of cinnamony sugar bakery type scent. But I mean, again, that can always change on warm. So that's just when I'm getting on cold. It smells very nice. I like those types of scents. Okay, Fireside Pumpkin. So Fireside Pumpkin, this one is sweet roasted pumpkins with hints of fall spices drizzled with gooey fire toasted marshmallows. So I do like those kind of smoky type scents. So I was hoping that that's kind of what this was gonna be. Again, I'm not getting a ton of smoky scent. On cold. So I'm getting the pumpkins, I'm getting the fall spice, which leans a little bit more towards that red hot fall spice. But I'm not really getting a ton of that fire roast and marshmallows. And again, that could take longer to cure it could maybe come out more and warm, but I'm not really getting much of that right now. Oops, knock everything over. Okay, next is poison apple. So this is a wax form of the meringue we already went through. So I already read the scent notes. And again, this one's just really nice. You really get that nice, pretty apple with that bakery. And you don't get all the spices in this either. So if you don't like spice, this would probably be a really good one because it's more just pumpkin apple bakery to me. Okay, next is Stroop Waffles. Um, I think she had this one last year, but I didn't get it. So this one is a favorite Dutch treat, creamy vanilla caramel filling sandwiched between two crispy Dutch waffle wafer cookies. And this one's really good. I mean, you really get that caramel cookie bakery. It smells really pretty. I'm excited to warm this one. And again, this is another one that really doesn't have those spices in it, which is nice. One thing that I seemed to notice about her restock this time and maybe this is typical, um, but it seemed like a lot have spice in it. Um, and I mean, I guess that's kind of more typical for fall, but then again, I can get a lot of other like bakery buns that don't have a lot of spices. And it seemed like hers this time just had in general, a lot of spices in them. Again, I don't know if that's typical. I don't know if maybe that's just the sense that I picked out, but it definitely seemed like they were very spiced heavy. Okay, this next one is Halloween Town. So Halloween, a walk through Halloween, smelling the haunted mansions through the autumn walk, which is a hint of spicy mold cider. So this one smells very, very different than the Cabin in the Woods. Um, I mean, sometimes it feels like the scent notes have a hard time truly showing like the differences. Um, so this one is definitely more of the mold cider, not so much like the bright cider. 
And you do have a little more spices in this one. I know it says Haunted Mansions and Autumn Walk. I don't know if there's really any like a leaves note in here, but maybe. Haunted Mansions, I would think it's kind of a woodsy type smell, but I really don't get a woodsy smell in this one either. It's very pretty. It's definitely, you know, kind of that apple cider type thing, but the mold cider, I think mold cider, and I don't know for sure, so I could be totally wrong, but I think mold cider is one that's maybe cooked a lot longer, so it's not as bright, it's more cooked down, and that's kind of what this smells like to me. I'll look up what mold cider is after this. But it's pretty. Um, it does have the spice notes again. Not so much the red hot, but not either the cinnamon sugar, so kind of in between. And then the last one that I got is Cookies and Scream. So Cookies and Scream is your favorite roasted marshmallow sandwich between freshly baked sweet and spicy gingerbread cookies. So gingerbread to me is more of like a Christmassy scent, in my opinion. Um, but I was excited to try this because I started slowly getting into gingerbread last year. And so I really don't have that much gingerbread scents. And so I was excited to have more. So I definitely get that gingerbread note. Um, I don't really get the marshmallows, but it could just be creamy and Yeah, so again, I really think that these perform so, so, so different on warm than they do on cold because it's just so hard to get the true sense of um, what these smell like on cold when they're scoopables. I think that maybe if there's just other people out there that got more of the clams or the shapes in those scents that they might be able to do a little bit better of describing what they smell like because scoops are really hard to get that for me on cold. Um, a few of the other standouts on here I just wanted to go through that I didn't get because I already have and so I just need to use up what I have before I buy more. Um, the Butter Brew, that one's really good. So that one's a Hogwarts Delicacy Creamy Butterscotch and Vanilla Marshmallows Simmered Over a Smoky Cauldron. Um, I've had fall naps before that one's good if you are kind of more into kind of that laundry type smell. So it's snuggle up in warm flannel sheets and drift away with the scent of dried leaves and fall breezes throwing through the window. So you really get that flannel note and then you get the leaves. Um, what else have I had? So I have Hocus Pocus. So take a walk through the graveyard to the Sanderson sisters house and smell the scents of the smoky fire under the cauldron crunchy dry leaves, and the sweet temptation of roasted marshmallows and brown sugar. So that one to me definitely smells a little bit more smoky than some of these other ones. Um, that one's a great scent. I know lots of people love that one. I do have that one still. Kruger's Orchard is a good one. So fresh baked cider donuts, crisp mac apple, and creamy vanilla bean. But whatever you do, don't fall asleep in this orchard. Um, that one's a really good one. That's a really good mac apple scent if you like those. And that one doesn't really have much spice in it either. So that's a good one if you don't really like spice. Um, let me see, is there any one thing else that I currently have? Um, ghost stories I have. So that one is deep in the smoky forest, curl up around the campfire and cozy up in your plaid flannel blankets. It's about to get creepy. I haven't melted that one yet, but um, it's very, very smoky. So when I open it, it's really, um, a pretty heavy smoky scent and I think maybe it's even enhanced because of the flannel because flannel to me it can run a little bit masculine I mean probably to people who really like masculine scents they're saying no way that's not masculine but to me flannel has a hint of that and so I think that it probably really amps up that smokiness so those are the ones that I currently still have um some other good ones would be her candy corn cake. I've had that, I think that one in body care. 
And then also, I do believe I have that one as scoops. She didn't do that in scoops this time. So candy corn cake is sweet candy corn atop fluffy white cake frosted with vanilla buttercream and a sweet filling of vanilla marshmallows and sweet pumpkin. Um, so she has lots and lots of good scents on her list. I could not buy everything as much as I would have loved to. I do know that she is planning on restocking some of them once she gets all of her orders out and figures out the issues with the labels. She um, said that she would probably do a poll up in her Facebook group so that people can vote as to what sense that they would enjoy restocked. I'm going to try to avoid that because, I mean, just with all of these scoops, it will take me a while to get through them. So like I said, one scoop, I can generally do the whole, my whole main area downstairs um, and only use maybe about half. And so I do feel like for me personally, scoops are a great use of money. Whereas if I did clamshells, I would need two clamshells and um, that would be a one-time thing. So for me, scoops worked and that's what I got. Um, yeah. So let me know if you picked up anything from Zape and what you liked. Um, also, are you team um, sugar scrub or whip soap? I'm curious because I love both of them and I can't get both of them in every scent that I would like to try. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I don't have anything else coming in right now, so I won't have any more hauls for a while. Um, I am thinking about doing a, like what's on my list type video. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so if I do that, I will go ahead and put it up, but I'm thinking about doing a what's on my list for like the teddy bees restock and kind of going through what since I have, what since I've had in the past and my opinions on them. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in, please let me know because I would hate to go through and do it and nobody like it. So anyway, I hope your day is going well. I hope that you have some wonderful wax melts to melt today and I will see you next time. Bye.